Hi friends, how are you today? Um, welcome to African Queen. Now African Queen is where we talk about the glamorous fashion and nature of Africa. And we like to call it um, beauty in color or beauty in color and culture. Because it's all about our culture. We, we want to project the African culture to be out there and let people see how beautiful it is. So, um, it's been some time I did one of these videos with where I wear the African outfit again because I've been very busy. Uh, but today I decided I'm gonna do something unique, something nice for my lovely subscribers who are interested in the African fashion. We've had so many people thanking us for bringing it out and you know making inquiries and asking where they could get this and get that. Now. I've mentioned my name, Joy Fido. So the interesting thing about what we do, African Queen, is about projecting our culture and providing. So what we tend to do is ready to wear African fashion. <clears throat> um, one of the new videos I'm going to do later in future is I'm going to show you the various colors we have in this outfit that I'm wearing. Um, we we'll call it Iran Buba which most Nigerians are used to, is one of my favorite cultural outfit because it's so easy to wear and it's so glamorous and it's so elegant. So it is my thing. I just, if you've been watching me on Facebook or other social media, you just see me in various colors, different colors. It's just the thing I like to wear. So welcome on board for today's show of how this is going to be done. Okay, so what's unique about today? Um, I'm wearing a white, white outfit. Um, I don't know if I've worn a white before in one of the videos because there was a time we just went for various colors. Um, and I'm going to be wearing a white, uh, more like a silver gele. So this video, we're going to call it um, gele time for beginners. Yeah, gele time for beginners. Because again, there are still so many people out there who struggle to tie this gele. I just came back from a wedding <clears throat> in the US and my job was just to tie everybody's gele. <laughs> it was interesting. Um, everybody was just coming to me, please, could you, could you do it for me? Could you do it for me? And then I realized that yes, there's definitely this need out there. People want to know how to do it. But I tell you the exciting thing that's happening People have created unique ways of pre tying it. You know how we just wear a hat? Um, they've made gillets now in hat form. So uh, at the moment, I haven't got any. So I still, <clears throat> I still manually tie mine. But yeah, in future, look out for this space. We might be getting the ready to wear gillets. Um, they, they come in a lot more pricey than the regular one that you manually tie. But hey, if it's there, why not? We should, nobody wants a difficult life, do, do we? We just want things that are easy. So if girl is ready to tie, bring it on. I want to be part of that. But I haven't got any at the moment. But like I said, watch out for this space. But things like the Rambuba, I have loads, different colors to suit various sizes. Um, although I found out when I went to the States recently, somebody ordered some and somehow it didn't suit her because her size was a lot bigger than the one I made. So if you find you are just a little bit on the bigger side, it's not a problem. What we do is just get you the fabric. And then Iran Baba is just one of those things that people get easily. So, I mean, people can make easily. You can get someone to make it for you where you're located. But if you give us your sizes, as in your neck size, that's where the main thing is. And then the hands, you tell us how big you want it. Usually the next stage is the body. So if the neck is really wide and the body is wide, then it should fit everyone. That's the idea. We want it to suit everyone. But we found out that in as much as it's free size, not everyone's size can fit into it. So you have to tell us what your unique issue is. But today's video is about tying this gele. Just to give you again a little step by step. On how you can go about it okay so the gele we have is is the sago gele 
which is a, a tiny little piece it's not that big this table but it's very long and um, this particular one I've used it before uh, I'll show you you see my makeup hanging all over there so what I've done I have folded it further in so it's not showing the makeup anymore and what you do you fold it in and you flatten it you just make it as straight as possible so it's not coming back on you and my trick is I just put it on the table and I press it down See this let's say this is the table then you just press it down on it can you see that can you see the action yeah so you fold at it and you just press it like that that's my quickest way of doing it otherwise you know like um the way you iron clothes you can just fold it and get the iron to go over it they are quite okay with iron there's no problem with it and so once you've got that done look at what i'm doing next so you are not going to go half half will be the same length on both sides you are going to go three quarter so that's So three quarter way, yeah, and then you take that three quarter, the exact point where the three quarter is, and that's where you tie on your on your head. Okay, so I'm wearing this old wig. Um, it's just a habit I I form. I I just like something underneath my gilly. Uh, Cause recently I went to a wedding and somehow I was in a hurry. And I, I didn't have time to put the wig on and I just tied it but I had the wig cap on because my hair is very natural so I didn't want it just sitting out there in the open so I put the wig cap on and then um, after I tied it you could see <laughs> you could see the wig cap and um, we're running late right so I'm thinking okay should I stop and take off this wig cap and then put my old wig on or do I? and I just left it you know why I left it because um, the way we were going for the wedding, there were not really people who know much about African fashion. So I just thought they're not even going to notice any difference. <laughs> but if I'm going to wear people who are used to this are, I really have to put on my wig. Or um, sometimes I put the braided wig in. And so different things, just so it helps to hold it back if it's open. It's not for any other reason. I know the interesting thing in the past we thought oh you know you don't want to wear anything because it will affect the gully. I actually enjoy putting something underneath it because then it, it helps me make the gilly time quicker if you see what I mean. Another thing I was going to mention is the reason I'm actually doing this is because it's my birthday and I just wanted to do a quick photo shoot so I just said to myself why don't I just use the opportunity to show you guys how I'm tying my gilly for my photo shoot so there you are. Anyway, so the three quarter right in front of your face and then you tie. But with the with the wig everything has to go inside. See that? So it goes in. Now this is where I turn so you see my back. So once it's gone down, you hold this one, no, the long side comes out and the short one goes in. So this is what you do, you're holding it down like that. And the long one is coming with me, goes round, and I turn around now, you see me. But again, I'm watching out for my the one with the the makeup on. So at this stage, you keep holding it really firmly. And once it's really firm, you can let go of the short side. And this time, you're concentrating on the long side. 
again i'm making sure that i'm holding Ooh. if you find you you're losing your grip you just go back on yourself and hold it really firmly again at the back and then you go now what you're going to find it sometimes um it doesn't matter what side you take the three quarters it doesn't matter because sometimes i do it and my hand is going that way and sometimes my hand is going this way it just depends on what side of the gillet you use in creating your three quarters and so that's the long side of the fabric coming with me and then i'm bringing it with me i'm bringing it with me and this is where you now start seeing can you see the folds forming on this side now remember we said get a time for beginners you're not you're not really that keen on creating so much folds because at the time when this hairstyle came out the focus was on folds and recently when i do my gele for the weddings i go for i'm not really that keen on so many folds i just want to have a nice gele done happy go to my wedding so if you want a lot of folds this is where you are going just as the flap is coming across you're pushing it in and helping it to create the folds can you see how it's already forming itself so then you keep going you see that keep going and going and going you can see the formation of it already so you can drag the top part with you as you're going as well you see how the folds are forming typical me i just like a bit of glamour because i don't like it looking too flat so now we've got this this is what you then do you start folding this into your hand like a flap this is it just use the hand and flap it up see how we've met up remember we said it's just basic and we're not really keen on creating anything too fantastic And that's the formation of your gel. This is the one that's going to do the knotting at the back. So you hold it down. Hold it down. And then you go back to the other flap that you left hanging. And then you do exactly the same thing you did with the other side. Now you've got both sides so that's the flap on the other side the side that was inside and then again you hold it with your hand see that both hands and now I turn to you see what I'm going to do at the back so that's both hands flap flap and then you tie Just leave it as it is. Okay, so <clears throat> the main base is sorted and now you can play with it.
Okay, so if you don't want any hair, you push it in, but sometimes it doesn't really bother me. And it's messed around with my makeup a little bit. I will just touch it up once I'm done. So, and this is where you then shift it and push and push and push. And you start designing it to suit you. See that? Say that and then you go back on the other side and you do the same thing with that one. Play with it a little bit. Push it in. Do whatever you like with it. Push in, push in, create like a fan effect. Some people like to call it the fan gate. So if you want them to be uniform, you do that. Whichever way you want to play with this is up to you. Try not to make too much force about this. Once I've got a basic look, sometimes I'm happy. See that? And then my typical signature is I put a brooch somewhere, which I didn't come with, but I'll probably go and try and get one. You can push it as much backwards as you want to be. The main thing with Gele is that first firm tightness. If you remember when the when the two sides were going over each other, you hold really firmly. Once it's in place, that's it. The rest is you just manipulate it, do what you like with it, create something unique, create something. See what I've done now? I've just pulled both of them together and it's created a gilly for me. So you see how easy this has been done. And um, depending on, I mean, there are so many different types of gilly, but this Sego one, um, is one of the easiest one to tie and I love the texture of it because it's not that hard some of them are so hard like um, when I went for this wedding it was a nightmare some of the hair ties they were giving me to tie I, it, you could actually cut your fingers that's how tough they were so but when you get a really good quality sego gilly um, there are some really lovely brand names like Jubilee and all that they are soft your finger can go around it and this is the second time i'm wearing this and it's still fine it doesn't crumble some hair ties they either crumble quickly or they're too stiff and it's difficult to manipulate them but this is perfect and i can still use it over and over and apparently you can still wash them as well and reuse them i only put a, a little hint of starch and you're back to normal so i've just created my simple nice gilly ready to go to a wedding so this is what it was all about just getting stuck at home and waiting to who will help you when you can play around with this i hope this has been useful and um, thank you so much for watching so what i'm going to go do now is um i'll put my earrings on um just touch up my makeup again and then i do my pictures and then you can see the pictures so we'll put it in the in the video so remember to like this video and um Give us a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends who are like you maybe who is not used to it and struggling to handle this. And um, what else do we normally do? And subscribe because then we're going to be doing more. Uh, you remember I talked about all the various things we are planning to bring to the, to the, um, to the channel. 
we get lots of inquiries people asking us where can i get this where can i get that we have all this african fashion um accessories we like to call them because what i'm wearing on my neck is cora beads and if you're used to african fashion you will know the quality this brings this is the real thing um they're really heavy and uh, a bit pricey the only issue i'm having with them is delivery of these ones because they're so heavy probably the price will be more price of delivery may be more than the price of i don't know but let us know if you if you if you're interested in them they are absolutely useful during weddings as well uh if there are ways you can walk around your delivery we can do that but we do have them in stock various designs so when you do need anything to do with african fashion we are the people to call including the hostel including the fan for wedding we got all of those so we look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you and god bless you